Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. This is A Week in My Life in New York City. I'm so happy that you're here. We're getting an early start today. Got lots of stuff to do, but we're kicking it off with a call that starts in six minutes. It is absolutely stunning outside. I haven't actually been outside yet, but I just know it is because I check my weather app more than I check pretty much every app on my phone combined. And it's like 60 degrees and beautiful. So after my call, I'm going to take a shower, get changed and go for a walk. I have some errands to run, but more than anything, I just want to enjoy the nice weather. Obviously I wasn't going to take a meeting wearing that shirt. So I just threw on the sweater really fast. And then we have two minutes. Let's do it. Why am I nervous? Passcode. It was so great to talk to you. This was so helpful. Thank you so much. You guys will be happy to know that my call went well, so that's one thing that we can check off of the list for today. And now I'm gonna run out and run some errands. I have to go get my eyebrows done. I have to run to CVS and pick up some stuff that I recently ran out of and maybe a few other things, but I don't know if I'll have time because I have to get back here and start getting ready because then I have somewhere else to be at like five. So, got lots of stuff to get done in very little time, but let's head out and see what we can do. days where your makeup is sitting on your face a little bit better than usual i feel like i'm having one of those days right now and i don't know why i haven't done anything different but i figure we could keep the good things going and do a little bit of a makeup first impressions i'm far from a makeup influencer we both know this but i do love trying new products every so often in one of my last videos you guys might have seen that i went to sephora and did a little spring beauty haul in celebration of my 10 year anniversary on youtube if you haven't seen that video make sure to go watch it because it's a very special one to me and I think to those of you who have been watching me for a while, putting it together made me very emotional. Filming it in the first place made me very emotional. But anyway, I did pay a visit to Sephora and buy myself some products. And one of them is the Patrick Ta, what's it called? The Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duo. I've seen this all over TikTok. I believe Patrick Ta went around and did a bunch of influencers makeup, one of them being Alex Earl, and he kind of demonstrated the right way to use it. So I'm really excited. I got this in the shade Do We Know Her? And honestly, when I look at it, it very much looks like a dupe of the NARS Orgasm. The only thing is it's not shimmery, which I can't tell if I'm gonna love that or not like that as much. Let's give it a shot. I just did some of my cream products. So right now is the perfect time to go in with a stipple brush and put the cream blush right on the high points of my cheeks. I don't really know how pigmented this is gonna be. So I'm going in with a very light hand, but from what I can tell so far, wow, this color is so pretty. I don't know if it's gonna come up the same way on camera, but oh, I love it. When I wear blush, I wear a lot of it. So I really like the idea of a product that allows me to have both a cream and a powder version of a blush because then I can layer up and really get the full color payoff that way. And then of course, I always just like to drag a little bit right across the base of my nose, especially when I have a little bit of a tan, whether it be natural or artificial, because it kind of gives you a little bit of sunburnt look. And then once I contour my nose on top of it, it all kind of pulls the look together. I love this color. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I love it, but I'm not gonna give you guys a final review until I do the powder blush. So let me finish up all of my cream products and then I'll come back to you. Okay, powder products are on everything except for the blush. So let's do it. Yeah, the more I look at it, I think maybe there's a little bit of sparkle, but in comparison to the NARS Orgasm blush, which is what the cream product looks like, it doesn't have nearly as much. And personally, I'm a sparkle girl. I like when my face products have a little bit of shimmer. I don't know why, I always have, but let's give it a fair shot. Again, I'm just gonna take my stipple brush. This could probably use a regular powder brush, but I don't have one of those. So we're just gonna rock with this, put it right on top of that product. I don't even know if you guys can see it the way that I can see it. I can't say that I'm totally surprised that I like this because it's just so up my alley. The color, the type of product, 
it's just very me, but I'm obsessed. This color is so good. I want to show you guys a little bit more clearly if I can. But like, are you kidding? I want to buy more of them. I'm obsessed. Okay, cool. Let's finish up the rest of my makeup because we are running a long time right now. It is 4 or 5. We have lots to get done. Okay, let's go. So I'm heading out in like 15, 20-ish minutes to go shoot some content for Princess Polly. And I was having some trouble picking out my outfit just because I couldn't really decide on what I wanted to wear. But we finally landed on this. I'll show you guys what it looks like totally on. But I feel like it's most appropriate for one, the weather outside, and two, the type of photo that I'm going for. So I'll show you guys what this looks like on my body. But I figure while I'm doing that, I might as well just show you the rest of the amazing stuff that they sent me. So let me get dressed really quickly and then I'll show you guys the full haul. Thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. As always, if you guys want to get 20% off your next order on Princess Polly, make sure to use the code DJ20. Princess Polly also offers shop pay and after pay to make your entire shopping experience so much easier. And they also offer free express shipping on orders over $50 shipping to the United States. Okay, definitely feeling good about this outfit choice because it's going to be really easy to shoot in. And then I'm also heading to dinner at six with my best friend Lisa. So I won't have to come back here and change. I can go straight in what I'm wearing. So I'll give you guys the details of my outfit right now. Up on top, I'm wearing this off the shoulder white sweater. I love this so much. I th honestly think this might be my favorite thing in the haul simply because it was the biggest surprise. I feel like with shirts like this, they're often made of the like super stretchy thin material, which feels kind of cheap in my opinion, if we're being totally honest, but that's not the material of the shirt at all. It's definitely on the thicker side. So it's good for this little transition period that we're experiencing where it's 60 degrees. I really don't want to wear a jacket if I don't have to, but I also don't want to be going outside in a tank top. This kind of feels like the perfect in between. It's it's definitely a little cropped, so keep that in mind. And then on the bottom, I'm wearing these jeans, also from Princess Polly. Online, they looked like they were low rise, but these are definitely sitting right at my belly button. But I really like the shade of these jeans and the wash. They're definitely on the longer side as well, so keep that in mind. I'm wearing heels with them right now, but if I wasn't, I would probably have to cuff them or I'm gonna end up cutting them. We'll see what my decision is, but I really like how these two look together. It's like the perfect, very simple outfit, but it feels a little bit more elevated when you put some boots on and also with the off the shoulder shirt. And I have some other things over here that I wanna show you guys. I'll start with this dress, I think, cause this I'm also super excited about. Every single time I do Princess Polly hauls going into the spring and summer, I always make sure to get a sundress or two because they're just the easiest things to throw on. And I always get so many compliments on them. So this one is definitely, again, I'm gonna use the word elevated because you'll see why. From the front, it's just a plain white dress, long sleeve. One thing I love about this dress is that it has thumb holes, but the real kicker about this dress and what brings it to the next level is the fact that the entire back, like all the way down to your butt, is open. I have a vacation planned at the end of May, and this is definitely coming with me because this is such a vacation dress. That's what it is. Oh, I wore this shirt the other day when I went out, and I got so many compliments on it. When I hold it up, it's not gonna look like anything. So you'll see the try on. But first of all, it's this beautiful maroon color that I just love wearing, especially when I have a tan, because I think the color suits me quite well. But this is the perfect going out top. It ties around your neck, and then it also ties in the front, which adds a really dainty, like very girly detail to it. I honestly don't have too many shirts like this, and I also don't own much of this color. So this was a no-brainer for me. I love this shirt, and clearly a lot of you guys do as well because I posted it on my Instagram story and my DMs were flooded. I'm sensing a theme here. I definitely love an open back. I think one because it doesn't require me to wear a bra which makes it instantly more comfortable but also I just think it's really flattering. So on top of that dress I also got two open back tops. They're pretty much the same style except one is long sleeve and one is short sleeve. I'll show you guys the long sleeve one first. It's just a plain black long sleeve top. I actually already own this in gray and I wear that one all the time so I figure why not get it in black as well. Super simple, amazing material, like super stretchy and I don't know, it just like 
hugs your body really well is the only way I know how to put it and I just I wear this all the time it's a going out staple and as we head into the spring and summer I thought it would be fun to get a white one this one's definitely made of more of like a spandex material which I like a lot more just because it feels really sturdy and it's not see-through at all because it's made out of that material which is important when you're not wearing your bra and you're wearing a white shirt and Princess Polly was also nice enough to send me one of their branded sweatshirts I love sweatshirts we all know this, I wear them all the time, but not all the sweatshirts that I buy or own are fleece lined, oddly enough. And obviously those are 10 times more comfortable than any other type of sweatshirt. And this one is so comfortable because it is fleece lined and it also has a super big hood. It's not one of those hoods that like suffocates your head and your neck when you put it on. I think you guys know what I'm talking about because that happens to me all the time. This one is like the perfect size and it's also cropped but not too cropped towards the bottom you know it's just the perfect sweatshirt i've been wearing this all the time and that is the haul so again don't forget to use the code dj20 to get 20 percent off your next order on princess polly dm me and comment down below what you guys end up buying from the website because right now they have so many amazing things on there so i need to know and with all that being said let's head out because i need to go take some pictures restaurant never disappoints. I've gone to Rowie's time and time again with so many different people and I have never once been and had someone be disappointed. The food is so good and I'm so full in the stomach and this is gonna re sound really cheesy and I know it is but I'm full in the stomach and I'm full in the heart. <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> but it's true. I hope that all of you watching this have a friend that makes you feel like Lisa makes me feel. She is the type of friend where when I leave hanging out with her, I feel so calm. Like there's no part of me that's overthinking our interaction. There's no part of me that feels like my energy has been drained. Like I just feel, I, I guess maybe it feels like family. I don't really know the best way to describe it, but it really is such a comforting feeling to have friendships like that in your adult life because, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this, in middle school and high school, I cycled through quite a few friendships that did not leave me feeling like that at all. And it's just really cool. So I hope you guys have a Lisa in your life because I'm very grateful for mine. morning. It's early. I have an appointment in about an hour. That makes it sound like it's a doctor's appointment. It's fully not. I'm going to sugar and bronze, but I should eat something before because I also have to take two Tylenol before because if I don't, I'm in pain. If you know, you know, ladies. If you know, you know. So we're just going to eat a little something something. I have avocados that are here and fully ready for me to eat, but I don't have time to make a full avocado toast. So, I mean, nothing's it is. Again, if you know, you know. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I always have these on hand. They're just the easiest snack. And I have the food palette of a 14 year old boy sometimes. I'm aware of that, but they're good. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I always say. They had me in and out of there in, I kid you not, seven minutes. I mean, every single time I go, it definitely goes faster, but seven minutes. She was speedy with it. Okay, ran back to the apartment really fast to get changed and also grab my stuff before heading out to do my work for today. Thank God I had an appointment early this morning or else honestly I don't think I would have ended up leaving my apartment. It said 50 degrees and cloudy all day. So I was like, okay, that likely means 45 degrees with wind chill. It's gonna be kind of gross out. I can just work from my apartment. And it's like 60 degrees and sunny. I don't know what's going on. So I put on a little fit. My shirt is the one that I showed you guys from Princess Polly, the one with the open back. I threw a sweater on just in case I need it, but I don't think I'm gonna need it, at least for right now. Pants are also Princess Polly, of course. Shoes are New Balance, and then today's a hat day. So throw on a hat, and that's the look. Found love for 
the colors gray and navy right now. I don't know why, but I feel like this color combo is doing a lot for me and I'm thrilled about it. But I was at a coffee shop for a few hours, got all of my work done and then some, and I'm actually uploading a video as we speak. And afterwards, I was kind of in the area where my friend Mackenzie lives, and she ever so graciously offered to take some photos for me. So we got some really amazing pictures. She killed it. Such a good photographer. And now, before the sun sets, I am gonna change into some workout clothes and go for a walk. I wanna know if anybody else does this. I swear, I'm not like stripping down naked in this video, but I just need to know if anybody else does this. I swear, anytime I leave the house during the winter going into springtime, I wear leggings underneath my jeans. I just would rather be overheating than be cold. I am not a fun person to be around when I'm cold. And in this type of instance, it makes my life so much easier because I don't actually have to change. I can just go, <laughs> I can take off my pants and go. <laughs> is one of the first ones in a while that I fully kept up on and I've liked it. I started watching it just because it's nice to have something to look forward to every week on a Monday and I go back and forth with how I feel about Zach the Bachelor. I like the fact that he's no bullshit and he kind of shuts down any drama that happens in the house but sometimes I feel like he shuts things down too fast. Like there were two instances where he sent home girls and they didn't even do anything. He just like has very minimal patience for bullshit I guess. Um, but I don't know, I really like the girls on the season. I think a lot of them were just super cool from what you can tell and there really weren't a lot of like clout chasey drama girls, which is always nice. But this is the second to last episode, I believe. I'm a few days behind because today's Wednesday and it aired on Monday, but oddly enough, I've avoided any and all spoilers, so I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, Gabby's my favorite. Gabby and Jess were my two favorites this season. I wanted Gabby to be the bachelorette if she wasn't gonna win, but they made Charity the bachelorette. Gonna make myself some dinner, watch my show, and have myself a night. morning. I went to a workout class this morning with my friend Lindsay, which was so much fun. I don't know why, but I ended up taking like two weeks off and I can't get the shit on. Hold on. I unintentionally ended up taking two weeks off and I can definitely feel it when I do that. It's a really, really good workout, but it's tough. And I don't know, it's like all about knowing the choreography and having the stamina to be able to keep up with the class the entire time and after taking two weeks off i definitely found myself taking a few more water breaks than i normally do but post class i'm feeling really good and oddly really energized which rarely happens after these classes grabbed myself a bagel after class and i did a quick 180 and i'm about to run out and grab coffee with my friends lolo and mackenzie and I'm so excited. I haven't seen my friend Lolo in way too long. And I feel like there's just been a lot of change in her life recently. So I'm so excited to hear about it. And we're going to this place in the West Village that I've been wanting to go to for a really long time. I walk by it pretty much every day. And it has such a beautiful storefront. It has a bunch of flowers. It's on like the sunniest corner in the West Village. But I've never been inside. So I'm excited to go and just put on a fit. I'll show you guys before I leave. Here's the outfit. Really nothing that crazy. It's a little gloomy outside. So I figured I could just rock with a sweatshirt and hat vibe and hopefully I'll end up going out tonight and be able to wear something a little nicer but I like the fact that the logo on the hat matches the logo on the sweatshirt that like subtle coordination even though it's something so small makes me so happy but I'm gonna put in my headphones and take a walk down to the coffee shop and I'm so excited
another perfect example of a social interaction and a friendship that just leaves you feeling so fulfilled. We really just got into it. I, I thought that we were gonna sit there and have coffee and maybe talk for an hour, but we ended up sitting there and chatting for almost three hours and we really just got into it. We were talking about how we're feeling right now and what we want to accomplish in the next few months and I don't know. It just left me feeling really maybe secure is the word and really inspired. They're just like, they're really great people. And this is now the second time that I've spoken about this friendships that fill your cup in this video. So I think that just goes to show you the importance of it. It definitely shows me how lucky I am to have the friends that I do. I'm feeling really good. I honestly, I could have sat there all day, but now I'm heading home and we'll see what the rest of the day looks like. Tonight we're going out. I wasn't sure, I was kind of on the fence, but I was convinced. It didn't really take much convincing, but I was convinced. And it's gonna be fun, we're staying local. So it'll be an easy night, I can come home early if I want, but that doesn't happen all that often, so it'll be fun.